Good. So, um, what I'd like to look at, ladies and gentlemen, is now we're given some information, but we're not given the triangle. So what we're going to have to do, first of all, is create our triangle to kind of see what it could possibly look like. So I'll just kind of draw a generic here, oblique triangle, where I'll have, here's A, which is 58 degrees. Here is 4.5. And we'll say, all right, here's angle B, which will be, and then B's here, which will be 12.8. So we'll call this C, and then that little C. All right? So by looking at this, what you guys can notice is I have side, side, angle. All right? Now this is different one than the problems that we worked on last class period. Last class period, uh, we only worked on having like an angle, side, angle, right? Working with there. Um, or having um, angle, angle, um, angle, angle, side. But now we're working with the problem with side, side, angle. And the important thing for you guys to understand when working with triangles, when you have a side, side, angle, is this is what we call our ambiguous case. So what we could have is we could have answers like you did on the homework where there's one single solution. We can also have now an opportunity where there's no solution or two triangles. So we're going to go through both of those today. So on the first one, uh, what we look at this is da, 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 we need to create the law of sines. So I'm going to have 4.5 over the sine of 58 equals 12.8 divided by the sine of b. Right? I don't need to worry about C right now because I don't have a C in here. So now, let's go and solve for the sine of B. So I can say the sine of B equals 12.8 times the sine of 58 degrees divided by 4.5. Right? You guys understand how I just kind of did this? I just kind of did a couple steps all on our own themselves. All right, so now let's go and figure out what we're going to have. So I do 58 sine times 12.8. And that gives me 10.85 divided by 4.5. And that gives me the sine of B equals 2.4122. All right? So now, to find actually our angle, remember it says the sine of your angle is equal to this decimal, which represents a ratio. So therefore, to find B, I need to say sine inverse of 2.4122. Because we need to find the angle, right? We need to find what B is. So the sine of your angle equals your ratio. But we, we want to find what is the angle. So you have to do the inverse sine of your ratio to find the angle. No. I mean, you had to do the same process. But in, the, in our homework, you, ought to, you had an angle that you could work on. For this problem, what you guys notice, if you remember looking at the sine graph, the sine graph we remember had a, do, had a range between negative pi halves and pi halves. But the important thing is the domain was between negative 1 and 1, meaning you could only find the inverse of a function or for the sign that was between negative 1 and 1. So can we take the inverse of 2.4? No. no. And if you plug that into your calculator, if you do inverse sine of 2.4, you're going to get an error. So therefore, this triangle cannot be constructed. So no triangle can be formed. You can just like write no solution. Oh, why can't you take the sine of inverse of that number? Right. I no, I mean like what makes it an error? Okay. Let's look at it again, real quick. Remember the sine function. Looks like this. Da 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 da, right? Right? It only goes up to one down to negative one, right? The inverse, if you remember looking at the inverse, looked like this only goes to negative 1 to 1. No, that was inverse. That's inverse sine. This is what the inverse sine function looked like. You take this, and you flip it over your x, y axis, and you flip it, and it's going to look like that. And what you notice is the domain can only be between negative 1 and 1. You can only find values of inverse sine between negative 1 and 1. Well, this, this is 2.4. This is like over here you can't evaluate for 2.4 on the inverse sine graph. OK? So that's the mathematical understanding. You could also just go by, hey, the calculator won't let me do it, so no triangle can be formed. 